Hello, today is Vlog Every Day in April, Day 13, and today I want to share with you one of the book series that has really had a pretty big impact on me. I have been reading ever since I can remember. It's something that I've always enjoyed. I really love stories, I really love books, and nowadays I'm noticing book series are becoming even more popular, or maybe that's just my perception of it. I notice a lot of people really enjoy things like Harry Potter, The Chronicles of Narnia. There's a lot of different book series that people relate to, and I think that's because of the story and the characters allow the person to be able to personalize the stories in some way. And for me, there's definitely one book series that was the first book series I ever really enjoyed and ever really collected everything for, and most of you probably haven't heard of it. Uh, this particular book series started in 1961, and the last book in the series was published in 2010. And that book series is called The Stainless Steel Rat. So I first read this book series when I was about 10 years old, I think, somewhere around there, fourth, fifth grade, and I really could relate to the character. Um, I wasn't a very popular kid, I was more nerdy and didn't have a lot of friends, and the character in this book w had a really strong personality. He was very witty and very much lived in his own world. Uh, in this particular book series, he is an uh, intergalactic thief, but he has a strong sense of morality and doesn't like killing that type of thing. And he goes through life as a person that shouldn't exist because crime has pretty much been eradicated from human society and he's functioning as a thief in this society where crime is supposed to be impossible. And so I never got into stealing or anything like that, but just the fact that he was able to survive, able to see people differently and see the world differently than everybody else, I could really relate to that. Because of that, I went on eBay a long time ago and started collecting all of the books. And I started getting some of them in paperback, but then decided to start collecting the hardcover versions. So this particular book is the first edition of The Stainless Steel Rat. It's called The Adventures of the Stainless Steel Rat, and it actually has three books in one. It's The Stainless Steel Rat, The Revenge of the Stainless Steel Rat, and The Stainless Steel Rat Saves the World. And this is actually my mother's copy, but I don't remember if she gave it to me or if, if it just started traveling with me, but I still have it in keeping it in good condition. Then if you start going in chronological order of the story, you have The Stainless Steel Rat is Born. Wow, that's a lot of glare. Hardcover. Stainless Steel Rat gets drafted. The Stainless Steel Rat sings the blues. The Stainless Steel Rat for president. The Stainless Steel Rat goes to hell. The Stainless Steel Rat joins the circus. The Stainless Steel Rat wants you. Actually, that wasn't in the correct order chronologically, but that's okay. And The Stainless Steel Rat Returns, which is the last book that was published. This was published in 2010, and the first Stainless Steel Rat story was published in 1961. I got all the books for the series and realized that there were a few other things related to these stories that you could actually find, one being the Choose Your Own Adventure book, You Can Be the Stainless Steel Rat, and this particular book has an interesting flaw in that you get stuck in a continuous loop, so uh, you have to go to a different page number than what it says for it to work out, uh, which is posted on their website. But this was actually really hard to find, apparently, and I'm really glad to have found it. And then they also did comic book adaptions of some of the books. So the original story, The Stainless Steel Rat, and it's two comic books to do the adaption of the book. This is another one of the stories, com comic book adaption. And then The Stainless Steel Rat for President. So this book series has lapsed more time than I have been alive. I collected all of these because it was something, it was characters that I cared about and I just really enjoyed the story, and I notice nowadays that a lot of people do this. When they find a story or find characters that they can relate to, they start collecting 
everything related to that particular series. And I think that's cool. I think it shows the power of story and the power of writing good story. I like to write. I've written about five different books through National Novel Writing Month and am currently working on one story to make it publishable because, well, I kind of needed to go back and fix story structure and set up scenes and make things believable, that type of stuff. One of the reasons why I really want to write stories is because how big stories have affected my life. And I look on the internet and on YouTube and uh, things like Comic-Con, uh, LeakyCon, all these things relate to story and relate to people connecting with a story. So this was the first book series that I ever got involved with, that I ever really needed to have everything related to it. I realized that it's important to recognize truth through story. And I think we can really understand people and really understand what's going around us when we can read a story that we can connect to that tells the story in a way that helps us to see things in our lives in a different way. And that's one thing this book series did for me when I was younger. I was a nerd, I was not popular at all, and it gave me somebody that I could kind of look up to, that I could try to emulate, and I just, I, I'm just really appreciative for that. So, Harry Harrison, if you're out there, thank you for this book series, and I'll see you guys next time.